Hey guys, hope you guys are doing well and welcome back to my new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you five lipsticks that I have right in front of me that uh, complement my skin tone. And I tend to wear these lipsticks a lot uh, in summer and spring. Now, when it comes to my skin tone, I feel that not every lipstick is for me. Some can be really, really bright and they just look a little too much on me so today i'm going to be showing you five lipsticks that i love wearing so let's go ahead and get started i actually read somewhere online that the type of lipsticks you wear can make people either like you or really dislike you there's no in between and i felt that to be very very true i'm a person who likes really subtle classy looks and that's just me personally but i've come across people who wear really really bold lipsticks that there's anything wrong with them it just didn't attract me towards them and i've just felt that it just i just wouldn't connect with that person that just that's just what has happened with me in the past and when I read that statement I'm like this couldn't be more true that's just from experience but it can change I may come across someone in the future that I just connect with but I just haven't found anyone yet but I do feel that that type of lipstick you wear can really define your personality and it can attract the other person or it doesn't attract the other person so that's what I felt in the past so guys I'm going to show you colors that I wear in spring and summer and the colors go really really well uh, for my skin tone which is tan brown soft Asian whatever you want to call it so let's go ahead and get started so guys the very first lipstick that I like wearing is the one by Armani Beauty it's the lip maestro the color is 522 I feel that it's so liquidy but at the same time it feels really really luxurious on my lips I absolutely love love wearing this if I can't think of anything to wear or be this color so guys this is a color that I would recommend to you guys if you guys have my uh, skin tone or a similar skin tone something uh, that I would definitely uh, want you guys to try out it's a little bit more on the pricey end the price is worth it I mean it's so good it feels so so good on my lips I've already used this twice before this is like the third one in color 522 and I'm gonna continue wearing this in future as well and there you go guys this is my first recommendation uh, when it comes to lipsticks so guys go ahead and check this out I'm gonna be leaving this in the description box below on to my next favorite lipstick that I use all the time I started wearing this back in 2018 and I still go ahead and I buy this because this is one of my go-to lip glosses of all times. Um, I don't apply lipstick underneath this. I go ahead and apply my regular lip liner, which is this. This is more on the pinkish side. I've tried a lot of pinks, but I feel they can be a bit too bright for me and they just look a bit too much on me. So I want to make sure that I'm wearing something um, that just fits right into my skin tone. So this happens to be one of the first ones out there. This is also because uh, Vosanti Cosmetics is also owned by a South Asian so I love the fact that they curate products that are made for people like me or people who have a South Asian skin tone so good it shines so well on my lips I can never question this color and I ended up buying like three more last summer because I ran out with the first two that I had as the name says this is Vosanti Cosmetics Power Hours lip gloss it has some type of oil in it I don't know what but it keeps your lips moisturized all day and i really really love wearing this and i would highly highly recommend this to you guys as well moving on to my third favorite lipstick this is something that i wear all the time in summer this is estee lauder a uh, powerful 220 this is a color i started wearing about three years ago and before that i've actually tried a lot of other colors uh, that were more along this color line i'm gonna say this is more on the fuchsia side and i never came across any color that looked really really good on my lips again they were a bit too bright for me but when i came across this i just couldn't let it go so this has to be one of my favorite fuchsia colors for brown skin I wear this all the time in summer and i love wearing this with like silk dresses with um a lot of midi and maxi dresses I love that this fuchsia color is not too bright but it's not too dark either. It's something that sits really well with a tan skin tone like mine. And I love that I can wear this color with a plain um, outfit as well. Sometimes I don't want to wear something that's a bit too expressive but I want to make sure that my face looks a bit more expressive than my outfit so I go for a lipstick like this because it makes your lips pop. I love that this has a creamy texture and it feels very really, really luxurious on the lips. I love uh, creamy lipsticks. They just go very well uh, with my lips. I just am not a fan of matte lipsticks because they have never worked that well for me in the past but anything that's creamy I'm all for it. And I'm going to be leaving the link in the description box below as well so make sure to check out this lip color it's one of my favorite colors if you want to make your lips pop in summer moving on to the next color that would be charlotte tilbury's sexy sienna which is this uh so when it comes to this color this is the only coral color that i have liked so far i mean i have tried other uh, coral colors for lipsticks but this just happens to 
be the only one that would complements my skin tone one suggestion that I would give when it comes to wearing really really bright colors and if you have tan skin like mine make sure to wear a dark uh, lip liner underneath and then go ahead and apply the bright colors when it comes to lipsticks one of the things that i don't like about lipsticks is that they uh, are not as pigmented and i have come across a lot of lipsticks that are like that they may not be as pigmented and because of that the colors uh, don't seem as visible i've tried other charlotte tilbury's uh, lipsticks as well and i absolutely love their lipsticks because i think they have one of the best lipsticks out there so i will highly highly recommend that you guys try out a coral color if you don't have any um in uh, your makeup selection yet so this is a really good color that you guys have to check out i wear a lot of maybelline lipsticks and this just happens to be one of them this is maybelline superstay matte ink in 80 ruler it's one of the colors that i like and i've tried a lot of uh, the matte ink lipsticks because they have a whole collection of them and i happen to like this color because at first i thought that was a little too intense for me but when i started wearing this i remember wearing this on one of my date night looks um uh, last year with my husband and he even complimented me on this color i remember wearing this color and he's like this color really looks good on you why don't you wear a lot of these i'm like really i'm like I, you have never complimented my uh, lipsticks before so this has to be something and i wouldn't say that i wear a lot of this during the day but i would wear this a lot for like night out looks and i can wear this in winter as well but i've worn this color in summer as well so that's why it comes down to my top five colors uh, for summer because i wear this a lot in summer as well i stay for up to 24 hours so that color that i'm wearing this is gonna last me for 24 hours it literally dries up on your lips and if you touch it you can't even uh, see the color anymore because it dries up that fast and it will last you the whole day if you're looking for an affordable brand uh, with lipsticks that stay all day this has to be one of them I realized in the past that uh, finding lipsticks that work for everyone's skin tone is really hard it's harder than i thought it would be and i am really really selective about the colors i wear so i wanted to share them all with you and guys this is it thank you so much for watching my video i hope you like this video if you guys have any suggestions or any feedback make sure to leave them in the comment section below guys thank you so so much for watching i'll see you guys next week take care and bye